What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing another opening. This was an opening I did earlier in the week. Uh, it was an opening that I was basically trying to get the last couple of hero shards I would need to take one of my heroes up to double S tier um, so that I could properly accomplish the Aizawa challenge. So right now, like I'm just going through collecting like, you know, little rewards that I kind of have, but in this opening, I'm basically going to be opening 10 support tickets as well as another 10 uh, hero tickets. And again, like I said, this is all in hopes of getting the hero shards I need to take one of my heroes up to double S tier. Um, as you can see, I have like two more uh, achievements that I need to accomplish to get Aizawa. Um, I know I'll be able to get like the other two heroes ranked up to level 80, but in this opening, I'm basically trying to get as many copies of Sue as possible. I probably can take her up to uh, double S tier with just one copy, maybe two. And that's all I would basically need to be able to accomplish uh, this milestone and get Aizawa. It's super risky. It's a really big gamble because you know, getting A tier heroes is not a guarantee. It's more likely than getting S tier, but still a gamble. So first we're gonna go ahead and open these support tickets. Gonna go ahead here and write a giant S on this. And okay, we at least get a five star support ticket, which is awesome, as well as another four star. So I'm really gonna have to like do some more like research and understanding of support cards so that I can get the best out of mine. I think I've been doing okay with them lately, but definitely could do probably a little bit better. So now we're gonna go over here to the hero tickets and we're gonna go here to look at the rates. So again, I have like a 3% chance of pulling Sue or actually pulling any A tier. Um, so gonna go ahead and pop these 10 and really just praying for some luck here. So we're gonna go ahead, write an S and we did get an A tier. It just wasn't suit. So more shards for Ochako, which is awesome. Like Ochako's obviously right now is uh, my second best champ that I'm that I use. Um, I still use Deku for a lot of things, um, but and I haven't been able to rank up my Todoroki just because I've been trying to save my rank up materials. So we're gonna go over here to Ochako, see what this would get her up to, and yeah, Ochako wasn't even close to double S tier, so. It's kind of a bummer that I wasn't able to uh, pull a Sue and kind of just the way it's looking right now, like I'm clearly not going to be able to get um, Aizawa after this after this opening. And these are really just the growing pains that come with being a free to play player. Like you're just not always going to have the shards necessary to get enough duplicates to be able to rank your characters up as fast as other people you know, because there is a lot of RNG based in this game. But right now, you know, my Aizawa was stuck at 70 out of 90, which isn't terrible. Like I only need 20 shards to get him um, as a character. So when his banner comes out, there's always a chance that I can, you know, summon on his banner, maybe get enough shards that way, or even just get lucky enough to pull him. So it's not the end of the world per se. But when I was doing this opening, I was determined to get Aizawa. Like I wanted him before this event was over. So basically I decided that I was just gonna like go for broke here. I was going to try and get, you know, hero tickets any way I possibly could and just try to get lucky, um, you know, in any way I could. So right here, I have like two more hero tickets that I was able to buy. Um, without having to spend hero coins, so that was actually kind of nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the first one, and I was able to get a Kaminari out of this. Again, not what I'm looking for, it's nice to have, but again, like I need full copies of Sue. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the second one. Once again, do an S on this one, and this time we only get a shard of Mineta. So those two hero tickets didn't pan out, but like I said, like I, at this point, would just I wanted to get Aizawa and I was ready to go for broke. And so what I ended up doing, like I decided to go back to the All Might banner because 
whether you get like the standard hero tickets or the All Might tickets, they're both 250 hero coins for either one. So in my mind, I'm like, well, if I'm gonna spend 250, I'm gonna spend 250 on All Might. And maybe if I get a consolation prize of pulling All Might, then that's a nice consolation prize. So go ahead, do one opening for All Might, end up getting a full pull of Kirishima, which again, nice, but not what we're looking for. So let's go back again. Let's try another 250 shards. And I was like really kind of panicking at this point because I was like, I, being a free-to-play player, hero coins are a premium for me. Um, so it's probably not the best idea that I'm blowing them just trying to get basically two heroes. Like I only really need, it's either All Might or a full copy of Sue. So that last opening got me one shard of um, Uraraka. Again, not what I needed. So this is like the last one that I was basically going for because I still wanted to keep some of my shards. And once I saw that copy of Kaminari, I was like, okay, I'm done. Like I can't waste all of my hero shards. And now I was down to like 650-ish, right? And I started at like 1400. And at this point I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna end the video. Just deal with the fact that I'm not gonna get Sue, I'm not gonna get All Might, and I'm clearly not gonna get Aizawa. Um, and so pretty much I was ready to end the video right there. But I ended up coming back later, or ended up doing this off stream, and ended up spending some more hero coins than I had. So I originally, like I said, I had like 650-ish. And I was just like, you know what? Forget it, like, we'll just go for broke. We'll try to figure out another way of getting hero coins later like i need to get aizawa right so went back to the all my tickets did some more openings and the luck came through in a big big way guys because i got all my i got all my out of a single hero ticket pull and that right there makes up for everything no i didn't get aizawa no, I didn't get Sue, but I have All Might. And that's a really nice consolation prize. So really bummed out that I didn't catch it on camera, but as you guys can see, I was able to add him to the roster. So I can't wait to kind of get to testing him, um, doing his training so that I can get some more hero coins. That'll be a good way of rebuilding that up. But yeah, got one of the best heroes in the game and I'm, I'm super excited about it. So like always, I thank you guys for checking out my video. Please be sure to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new, you know, definitely make sure you subscribe. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.